have a very interesting topic that has plagued the internet throughout the end of 2023 or maybe more than just the end of 2023 and it's gone into 2024 as well but we're five days into 2024 so it's too early anyways something that has been plaguing the internet as of late is people's absolutely absurd obsession with stanley cups chat have you seen people online be obsessed over stanley cups and i'll be honest it's particularly white women obsessed with stanley cups stanley cups these they are cups that's it chat they're cups they're nice cups and they're available in a ton of different colors and sizes and shapes and all that good stuff these stanley cups have been taking the internet by storm and by the internet by storm like i said it's taking white women on the internet by storm so much so let me go ahead and show you the videos that are coming out of places like Target. They're swarming Target. This apparently was a new Galentine's Day Stanley Cup. They're just pink and red, but they swarmed, chat. This is people just running to get the Stanley Cups. This is a woman who camped outside of a Target starting at four in the morning, all to get the limited edition pink Stanley Cup. Four in the morning, chat for a cup there's a lineup at this point look at that lineup all for a stanley cup chat now they're going in the lineup of people are going into target to grab a stanley cup and they are all gonna take however many stanley cups they're allowed to take the limit was two per person the guy said and they're so fucking happy about their stanley cups look at them why they're cups <laughs> what is going on it's a cup. I mean, it's a nice cup. I'll give it that. Why? They're just cups. I don't understand the hype. I saw another video and I thought I had it here, but it was a video. It was another point of view of people, primarily women, along with their children, running through a Target. People were literally falling over in Target trying to get these Stanley Cups. It's just a cup, chat. Moral of the story is Stanley used to make camping gear and they had cups. Yeah, they discontinued the cups at one point because they didn't do that well. And then eventually they started making them again and influencer marketing took over and influencers started posting with their Stanley cups and influencers did what influencers do best and they influenced their viewers and everyone started buying Stanley cups and it became a huge ass obsession. Everyone had to get their Stanleys. Now because Stanley comes in so many different colors and styles, people have absurd collections. This is one woman's Stanley cup collection. Some of them have their label still on. She hasn't even used it yet. Why do you need this many cups? That is one woman's Stanley collection. This is another woman. She has all of these cups. It just keeps going. Listen, I get it. I like a good cup. I like a good water bottle as, no as much as the next person. I have my beautiful Twitch one here. Love it. It's a good water bottle. Big fan. I don't understand why we need to own 20 of the same water bottles in different colors. Now, I will say there is hype around Stanley's because apparently Stanley's can be good water bottles. And let me show you this video of a Stanley water bottle that survived a car fire with ice still in it. This is pretty good marketing, right? I'm sorry the audio is so quiet. Her car caught on fire. Her Stanley survived with ice still in it. There's still ice in her Stanley after a car fire. Now Stanley's response to that was they saw this and they were like, holy fuck, this is really good marketing for our cups. And they ended up going and giving her a free car. They replaced her car for her, which was really nice. It is kind of impressive that a Stanley cup survived a fire. I can't deny it. That's pretty cool. It still had ice in it. That's pretty lit. However, the obsession over getting every single different cup is absurd. It's great and all that it survived the fire, but I still don't think it's the best. That's the wrong scene. It's still not the best cup in the world. Well, Will the Stanley so cup spill? This is the new one. We're going to test how this goes. Now, if I'm going to spend 
$65. If I'm spending $65 on a cup, it better not leak. But they don't, they fucking leak, chat. They fucking leak. It's a, it's a cup. It's a fine cup. It comes in fun colors. Like, it's nice. This is just consumerism and marketing going too far. And you know what? This isn't actually the first time that water bottles have become so viral. Oh, no, no, no. This is not the first time. This has happened many times before. Nalgene. People put stickers on it. People loved it. Service. I'd never heard about these ones, but I'll trust you, ma'am. I'll trust you. Camelback. Okay, sure, cool. Don't love mold, but, you know, water. Yetis? People liked the Yetis. Good stuff. Hydro flask. Hydro flask, hydro flask, hydro flask. These were so popular. And now Stanley is the new it girl. The Stanley is the new water bottle of the moment. And I think it's really interesting how water bottles come in trends where people get one water bottle that's trendy and then we move on to the next flavor of the week exactly but i think it's absolutely mind-blowing that some of these people have literally like 20 different stanley cups it's a cup they all do the same thing i get we like fun colors and designs and all that fun stuff but it's a cup it's a cup chat it's a cup it's just a cup when I want a water bottle, I want one that I can throw in my backpack. You cannot throw one of those Stanleys with the handles and the straw in your backpack. That will make a mess everywhere. The price that these Stanley cups are going for is so expensive. $65. And this is the Canadian website. So it's $65 Canadian. It's pre-tax. So after taxes, you're going to be looking at like a 70 something dollar water bottle, which I think is insane, chat, especially when people are buying multiple of them. People are spending hundreds and some people must be spending thousands of dollars on Stanley Cups. I saw a TikTok, um, I think it was yesterday, and it was a girl who wanted a Stanley Cup for Christmas, but her boyfriend did not get her a Stanley, got her a Yeti that looks exactly like the Stanley and one of the little like mugs they have with the lids. And the girlfriend was all like, oh, this isn't what I wanted. I didn't want the Yeti, I wanted the Stanley. And the boyfriend was so hyped that he got the Yeti and he was like making up a little song about how oh you're gonna be rolling up with the yeti and basically just thinking that like she was gonna be a lot cooler with a yeti instead of a stanley and everyone in the comments was like yeah he's trying to stop her from being basic and you know what true she's gonna be different chat she doesn't have the stanley she stands out if she really wanted a water bottle she got what she wanted but the problem with that tiktok was she didn't want a water bottle she wanted to be a part of the trend and that's the problem, chat.